So the wild card games are upon us. Will Madison Bumgarner accept my offer? Will I start an international incident by alienating an entire country? Find out now. Greetings ladies and gents and welcome to another edition of the Suicide Squeeze Show. Now, big weekend in sports this week. Uh, we have the semifinals of the National Bull Riding Association. Uh, the WNBA playoffs are in full effect. Um, and I believe the chess championship final is this Sunday. Excuse me? What was that? The baseball playoffs? That starts today? Oh boy. So before I give you my preview and predictions of the American League Wild Card game, then the National League Wild Card game, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory uh, as to me predicting things, okay? Two years ago, okay, before spring training started, around spring training time, I picked the Washington Nationals to go to the World Series and win it. These guys <laughs> didn't even make the playoffs, okay? Last year, I picked the Cleveland Indians to go to the World Series and win it. <laughs> Those guys didn't even make the playoffs. Uh, this year, I had the Mets because of that strong starting pitching staff and the run they were on last year. I just thought that momentum would carry over. They've had a pretty good season and finished very strong, but you know, with that starting rotation being decimated the way it is, uh, it's going to be a tall order for them to get to the World Series and win it. Um, so that's not looking like a very good pick either, and I picked them to face off against the Houston Astros, who, as we all know, <laughs> did not make the playoffs. So what I'm trying to get at is, if I don't pick your team, it's probably a very good thing. Um, <laughs> I'm not much of a gambler. Uh, I usually go to Las Vegas to, to, to snorkel in the, uh, in the fountains at Caesars Palace, and, and that's the only reason I go. Um, so, again, don't get too offended if I don't pick your team. Uh, I'm doing you a favor by not picking them, trust me. So in the American League Wild Card game, the Baltimore Orioles will cross north of the border into Canada to square off against the Toronto Blue Jays. And uh, i got to be honest with you guys, this should be a, a pretty solid game. I think it's going to be a battle of the bullpens, though, quite honestly, because Marcus Stroman, I mean, he looked fantastic in the playoffs last year. But he's been kind of wildly inconsistent this year. Tillman's not like a top of the rotation ace like Bumgarner or Syndergaard. Um, I think, again, this is going to be a battle of the bullpens. I think it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of offense in this game, even though Toronto's been kind of streaky offensively uh, here down the stretch. Um, but I got to be honest with you, I just really love that Baltimore bullpen. I think they're going to shut the door the last two or three innings. And... I'm predicting the O's win 8-5 to five in a slugfest. And uh, incidentally, I think if, if Toronto can get by Baltimore today, uh, they'll probably give the Rangers maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit more trouble uh, in the next round uh, because I think they match up pretty well with the Rangers and there's a lot of bad blood there. That would be an exciting series to see with, uh, you know, with the brawl they had uh, uh, in the playoffs last year. I'm truly sorry, Canada. Nothing personal. Uh, I hate to pick against your boys, but um, I think the Expos are coming back if it makes you guys feel any better. And over on the National League side, we have the Clash of the Titans. We have the San Francisco Giants behind Madison Bumgarner against the New York Mets behind Noah Syndergaard. This is very, very exciting. I love to see good, good, well-pitched games. Uh, and uh, I think we're going to be seeing that in this one. <laughs> Most likely it'll, it'll end up being like an 11-10 game and it won't meet my expectations. Uh, uh, I'm kind of weird. I like seeing low-scoring, uh, well-pitched games. Uh, but uh, this is going to be a very, very interesting game. I mean, uh, you know, Bumgarner has been pitching fairly well lately. Um, and this guy just seems to, he seems to raise his game up this time of year. Um, just don't look him in the eye. Ask Yasiel Puig about that. You know, it's funny. I, I was thinking the other day, Madison Bumgarner, if he doesn't want somebody looking at him in the face, he should just buy all his opponent's sunglasses. You know, I'll, I'll donate some of mine, and he can give them to the Mets 
come Wednesday. But anyway, sunglasses and silliness aside, uh, I really like the Mets in this one, believe it or not. Most people seem to be picking the Giants because of Bumgarner. And there's no wrong answer here, guys. I mean, th th this this game was even harder for me than the American League game because th these pitchers are just so, so good, both of them. Uh, I, again, I you know, I think it comes down to the bullpen, though. I, I think this is going to be like a 1-1 a game going into the 7th, 8th inning. Um, you know, it's not going to be a slugfest like I think the American League game will be because, you know, obviously these pitchers are much better. But it's probably going to, you know, again, come down to the last two innings. And, uh, you know, I think the Giants' bullpen is, is, is going to be their undoing. I mean, you know, this is really the reason why the Giants didn't win the division. The bullpen just was terrible. Uh, offensively, they weren't very good either. But the bullpen was awful. Uh, they just blew, blew so many leads uh, during the second half. I think the Mets win this one 3-2. to two. Um, I think uh, Bumgarner goes probably like seven, eight innings, only gives up maybe a run, maybe no runs, and I think the bullpen just unravels. As I will be doing another video, like I said, I'll probably have it up Wednesday night, Thursday morning, where I'll give you my predictions and preview for the rest of the playoffs, who I think is going to win the World Series. I finally figured out who I think is going to win tonight, but I'll leave you with that little cliffhanger for that video. But let me throw it to the real experts, you guys. Who do you guys like in the National League wild card game and the American League wild card game? Let me know down in the comment section and you can join the fine folks of Canada and San Francisco in hitting the dislike button if you didn't like this video. Otherwise, see you next time. Take care, guys.